Okay, so uh, today I ended up receiving a tea from a fellow um, tea member of the group on Facebook and she was giving away a bunch of teas and I was kind of going through them all and I was like, I don't think I've ever even tried this one. I didn't even think this tea existed. So this little tin was in the, the uh, bundle. It is cranberry orange muffin. So I didn't even know this existed. I know they have a cranberry orange scone, which is a pretty good tea by David C. That came out years ago. Um, hasn't been back for a while, but uh, so this is an herbal infusion. This is just a 60 gram little uh, tin here. The ingredients in this one are cranberries, uh, dandelion root, pineapple, cinnamon, orange peel, and pieces. Okay, whatever that is. Hibiscus, mango, and natural flavoring. And I'll show you guys what the loose leaf looks like. Kind of hard to see, but uh, can't really brighten it up. There we go. I'm do a little bit. So you can see the cranberry. You can see the other cinnamon chunks and black tea. Or not the black tea, the uh, hibiscus blossoms. So um, it smells... It smells tart. Um, you smell the cinnamon. You know what this smells like? This smells really similar to, um, David C came out with a tea, 2018, the splash collection called, oh, what was it called? Superfood Splash. And it was kind of like a hibiscus cinnamon. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells very similar to that. I have a cold brewed here. Um, I was cold brewing it for a few days and I told the, uh, I needed time to do this review where it's like a quiet house. And so right now is the perfect time. So I was cold brewing this for like four or five days. Uh, since it's an herbal, I didn't add any sweetener. I just have it plain iced. So we're going to give it a try and see how it is. Okay, so you do get the cranberry. You get, I would say this is very similar to Superfood Splash, but it's like a cranberry instead of a hibiscus. Like it's like a cranberry cinnamon tea, whereas um, Superfood Splash is like a hibiscus cinnamon tea. Uh, this one's pretty good. It's very different though. And I do get kind of that muffin vibe as well. Kind of that bakery note from the tea, which is also really nice. Um, this one's pretty good. Uh, cranberry teas are kind of a hit and miss for me, but uh, I was kind of on the fence for this one to try to see how it is. But uh, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know if they're ever even going to re-release this tea. I didn't even know this tea existed until now. I was like, I have never tried this tea in my life. Um, I'm assuming it's from like 2013, 14, 12 era, maybe. Um, yeah, I've never even heard of this tea. So if you guys know what year this came out, that'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Would I repurchase Cranberry Orange Muffin? Um, I would if it ever came back. It's pretty good. It's not super sweet either. Not super tart from the hibiscus. It's kind of just like a nice low level kind of sweetness, which is very nice. Um, would I stock up? I would not stock up on this one. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. I'm probably just going to finish this tin and be done with it, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, and rating out of 10, it's like a six and a half, a seven out of 10. Not the best tea. Um, maybe it's just because I'm not a huge cranberry fan. And even the orange, I'm not really getting, I'm getting a little bit of an orange kind of vibe, but it's not really bursting in my face. So it's mainly cranberry and cinnamon in this one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of Cranberry Orange Muffin by David's Tea. Super random, but I thought, hey, I haven't, uh, I've never even tried this tea before. I thought it'd be a cool little tea to try. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thank you guys so much for watching.